Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris here. Want to bring you all a little tutorial today. What we're looking at is the upside gap to crows. And this is going to be a bearish topping pattern. And what we're going to get into today, the scenarios and the psychology behind this pattern, the pattern flexibility, some of the commentary and the rules of recognition. And this is going to be out of my book, Candlestick Charting Explained Timeless Techniques and Trading Stocks and Futures by Gregory L. Morris. And he does a great job at laying this out for us, guys. And if, this is one if you're able to spot it after a strong uptrend, especially like you see here. That powerful uptrend and then you see these two crows like that most of the time you're gonna see this chart start to roll over and you can make some really nice profit there or you can pull out after you you know potentially bought down in here and you ride this up and you see that and you say ah you know what I'm probably gonna take my profits here and see if I can buy them back even cheaper so this is a really good one and if you all could like subscribe hit that notification bell we're trying for 100 likes on these tutorials really appreciate each and every one of you so with the upside gap to crows what my book says is it's a bearish reversal pattern confirmation is suggested so what they're saying by confirmation suggested you're seeing the two crows and then you're looking for more confirmation to the downside and this candle here would be the candle for that confirmation do you see how low it closed in that shaved head bottom there that it had there's not even a wick like an upside down drumstick there and that's that's a very powerful candle to the downside it's almost like a bearish belt hold candle candlestick there so really keep that in mind that that's the continuation that they're talking about then my book says this pattern is good only as a topping reversal or bearish pattern the uptrend is supported by a long white day and that's this candle right here the next day gaps much higher but closes near its low which is still above the body of the first day the next third day opens inside the body of the second black day, then sells off into the body of the first day. This has closed the gap and given us the same pattern as the dark cloud cover if the last two days of the two crows pattern were combined into a single candle line. The fact that this gap was filled so quickly somewhat eliminates the traditional gap analysis, which would indicate a continuation of the trend. So that's what they're talking about, guys, really paying attention to these three candles right here. And now the rules of recognition, the rules of recognition, number one, the trend continues with a long white day. So that's this candle here. Number two, the second day is a gap up in a black day. So that's that candle there. The third, the third day is also a black day that closes down deeper here, guys, closes below the close of this day so that would be confirmed there and number four the third day opens inside the body of the second day and closes inside the body of the first day so this body here guys to close right there needs to at least make it into this candle here your first day candle that long white day candle so really keep that in mind and pay attention to that for the qualifications and the reason why this happens the scenarios and psychology behind this pattern the market has had an extended move up. A gap higher followed by a lower close for the second day shows that there is some weakness in the rally. The third day opens higher, but not above the open of the previous day, and then sells off. The sell-off closes well into the body of the first day. This action fills the gap after only the second day. The bullishness ha has begun to start eroding very quickly. So guys, this candle here, realistically, you would want it even to close down more into the body of this first day from what I'm reading out of my book here. I know this chart says upside gap two crows, but you'd even want that close to be deeper down into this for more confirmation. And the pattern breakdown of this, it's basically what this two crows reduces to is a shooting star pattern. So my book will show the upside gap two crows and it'll show a shooting star next to it. And that's basically what type of candle it would form if it was a one day candle or a one day top reverse so that would be a huge shooting star candle is what this is equivalent to you know so guys that's the upside gap to crows and i think it's something that you really want to put in your toolbox and really have in your back pocket and say okay so this is a bearish and what you want a bearish topping pattern and you would want to make sure that this is on the one day or the one week chart obviously you could go down to the four hours and do that if you're really like intraday trading 
But if you're more so looking to that swing trading and everything, that's, you know, you'd be looking down here to buy. Obviously, when you saw that bullish engulfing candle, and then once you see these up, this upside gap two crows, you'd say, hey, you know, maybe I'm going to take some profits here, depending on what some of the other indicators are looking like. So, guys, this is the upside gap two crows. Leave it down low if you like these tutorials, if you're getting something from them. And I'll just keep putting them out the best I can for you. God bless you all.